Right, we're nearing the end of the summer now in uh, Bulgaria and so we've got a surplus. Here we've got um, peppers from El Hovo, we've got aubergine from, um, from Srem, thanks to Sunik and Charlie, and we've got some tomatoes, thanks for the same, the green peppers, and what we're going to do, we're going to make this into lutenitsa. We've washed all the peppers, and now we're going to sort of singe them. And what we, how we're going to do that, we've got a gas ring here today, a lot of people will have a, um, a pile of bricks with some wood underneath, but what we're doing, we've got a little gas ring, piece of metal, any piece of metal will do, we'll place it on that, and then what we're going to do then, is place the peppers just like that, and we'll singe them. Off we go. Okay, now the hot plate's hot, we're going to singe the peppers. Just place them straight on top of the hot plate. Like this. And the object of the exercise is to make them brown. I'll show you. So here we are then. They're on the hot plate. And now we're getting them this sort of brown colour. What's happening now is we're getting them this like this. And later they need a bit more now. But later that's so we can uh, peel the skin off. So what's happening now is they're ready. Let's have a look. They're ready, really black. And we're going to put them in here. Put a lid on it. And what will happen then, they'll sweat a bit and it'll make the skins much easier to pull off. So that's what you're looking for, almost burnt. Don't be afraid to really go. With this, what happens is you get that lovely smoky flavor later. So now it's just the preparation of the tomatoes. And simply making them big enough to go into the blender because we're going to blitz the tomatoes for the puree. Just getting the bits and pieces out, the little stalks. So the peppers are still roasting. They've been put into this pan, see how much they've reduced? A few more left. Now we've chopped up the tomatoes. They're going to go in the blender. They're going to be blitzed. All right, so that's that lot blended. That's the first batch. That kind of consistency goes into the pan. Now when we've done the rest, we'll cook them off. So now we're going to take the aubergines, which is patajan in Bulgarian, and we're going to do the same thing, same as we did to the peppers. Right, the aubergines, or the patlajan, are cooking. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the skins from the peppers, and what happens is Take the skins off, they come out really easy now. You get a little bit of juice, just dump that in the bucket, that can go for the chickens later. Don't need to get every bit off. And you split it open. You just take off the stalk, leave most of the seeds in there with it, and the smell of freshly roasted pepper just fills the air now. It's lovely. Just pop that in a little, little saucepan, ready to be blitzed later. We've got to do all those yet, whilst we're waiting for the aubergines. Right, so we've uh, taken the skins off all the peppers, and then they're going to be whizzed up in here, same as the tomatoes. Okay, so here we are, that's what it's supposed to look like. All sort of burned up around. Put it in there, same as we did for the peppers. And that'll uh, ease the skin off. Let me just pick the rest of the skin off by hand. And we've got a few more to do. Okay, so now we've burnt all the skins off the aubergine, the patlajan. They come off dead easy now, because the lid's been on for four or five minutes and then we're just going to strip them back just like we did uh, with the peppers. So this is what the patlajan looks like. 
after it's been stripped of its skins, we pop it in to the blender. There we are, we don't want to overload it. Lots of seeds, all the seeds in it, it's really hot still as well. So leave the seeds in. Right, now we're at the point where we've got the three basic ingredients ready. We've got the tomato, we've got the aubergine, that's the patlajan, and we've got the pepper. They're all mixed and blended. So now what we're going to do is put the tomato on the gas and we're going to reduce that for about 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, and we've got to just look at it, see what it's like for a consistency, but we'll see that in a moment. So here we are with the tomato juice, pulverised tomatoes. Now we've got to reduce this, it's going to take anywhere between half an hour and an hour. But we've got a good heat source here so it might be a bit quicker. Right so it's about an hour later and uh, this is the consistency. Okay so now we're going to add the peppers to the tomatoes. So that's all the pepper in, and now we put in the aubergine in, the patlajan. Remember, we stripped it off the same as the pepper. It's all going in. Now this is going to boil up for another hour. Okay, so now it's this sort of consistency. Now we're going to put in oil, which is normal sunflower oil. Here we're going to put in around about a cup, which is 250 ml. It's not exact, but we're going to put in this much first and then see how we go. I'll put the recipe on the end of this film. Okay, so we're going to put some salt in. This is about a quarter of a cup at the moment. But it's to taste, so start with that and then we'll see how we go. About the same in sugar for the moment. And we boil that up for a little while. Right, so the cooking process is finished and now we're going to put it all in jars. After the jars are filled, we'll boil them in water. That will seal the jars and then we can eat them when we fancy during the winter. Right, here we are. The jars full of the lutenitsa are now in the pan of water. We're going to boil the water for at least 15 minutes and then probably just let the water go cold after that. This causes a vacuum and sterilizes the uh, lutenitsa inside the jars and then they're ready to keep for whenever you want to eat them.